With a little bit of imagination, you can make pretty much anything happen. I'm gonna show you how we freestyle this house, literally making up as we go along. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Amamads. Today, I'm continuing on what you guys said about me wanting to build more houses. You say, Am I build some more houses? It would be great if you could build some more houses because I haven't got a house. So today, we're going to do it again. But last week, we had a bit of fun and we built a modern house without planning it. And I actually really quite enjoyed it. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to build a more rustic house, kind of not a starter house per se, but a not too bad house in Minecraft, but in a more rustic style. So let's crack on and we'll make it up as we go along. Now, what you've got to remember is when you make stuff up as you go along, sometimes you have to rub it out and start that bit again. So be prepared for the fact that this might go horribly, horribly wrong but at least you'll be able to work along with me and I'll do it as block by block as I possibly can and then you can maybe follow it on and improve it and then you could even tweet pictures of your houses and let me know how they went. Anyway, let's crack on with it. That's too much talking. Okay, so first thing is first, we've got to build out the shape of our house and I always like to do that using oak wood because these generally speaking are gonna be what I build the house out of. So I'm gonna stick one there. I'm gonna come across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, I, hang on a minute, I've miscounted. I need seven gaps between. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then another one, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And yes, you have come along for counting with Avo yet again. You know you love it. Then we're gonna go seven across this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven like that so we've got kind of a half a, a, what, what would you call that kind of a corner and then what we're going to put here we're going to do one two three four five six and seven we're going to slap one right there so we kind of creating a bit of an l shape then we're going to get another one here that is i'm properly infested with sheep i might have to go sheep bashing in a minute one two three four five six and seven there we go so we've got that and then we want to come here go away sh wherever i'm going to go they're just there aren't they so is that right is that have i made a square without counting there you go it is not absolutely critical for you to count it is official so now what we're going to come out here we were going to put one we're not going to put a wall here because that's a little bit too blocky three four five six seven but as a guide i'm just putting that there and then i'm going to come out one two three and in that three, after that three, I'm going to put another one there. And I'm going to remove that. And then I'm going to come along five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to stick that there. And then I'm just going to keep going every five. So one, two, three, four, five. So obviously it's not every five. It's five gap and then it. One, two, three, four, five. I've done four gap there. And I've just done exactly what I said I wasn't going to do. One, two, three, four, five, and one. And then one, two, three, four, five, and then one. So that's kind of that shape. Yeah, that kind of works. And then we're going to trap the sheep in here by going one, two, three, four, five. And literally it stands wherever I want to be. One, two, three, four, five. It's not like I'm holding anything I want to eat. One, two, three, four, five, and one. And then again, one, two, three, four, five, and one. There we go. So that is kind of like that. And we're going to get just five. One, two, three, four, five five one there and then on this side we're going to come along and do down one two three four five one there one two three four five and one there so we've got what looks like a little bit of a disjointed scattering of these bits of wood but it's not it's all fine believe me so we're going to one two three more on top of each of these inner ones that are separated by seven and hopefully this will start to start to look like what it is i'm trying to make that's in my head so i've not got this written down on a piece of paper i've not got this planned out and built before i've definitely not got any sheep plans even though there's lots of sheep here and that is going to be the shape of my house so it's not a very big house as you can see here it's a relatively small house but i don't want big i just want effective looking that's what i'm trying to go for so what we're going to go for here um so we've got four high 
On these ones here, we're going to come across like that, all the way around here, and build out the frame. Because once you've got a frame, you know where you're going to go. Like that, here, but we're not going to do the inside, because the inside's going to going to have a different area so come along like this so I don't know if you've ever spoken to a sculptor I haven't but I have read that sculptors see a big lump of what stone marble whatever clay and they see what is inside that marble and clay and that sounds really quite exciting I like the idea of that so what I'm trying to do here is to see what on earth is happening there hang on a minute that's gone horribly wrong in it so let's just I told you you have to rub stuff out one two three four five, six, seven, which implies this is six, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, yes, so that has to come out, that has to come up, and that can then go there, okay, so we're fine, it's all, it's all right, don't panic, it is all fine, so then on here, we're going to go another one, two, three, four, four, and here again, one, two, three, and four and then again cross beam along here like that on all four sides here as well so we've got the structure of what we hope will become quite a nice looking house now the next thing i like to do and you probably know this if you've watched some of my building videos before is i like to make the roof now now a lot of people go what on earth are you talking about making the roof now oh well can you see in the background i actually didn't know i was this close in the background there sorry little diversion that is my x-wing fighter if you want to see the tutorial for the x-wing fighter go and click on it it is in the description below and hopefully somewhere in the that's a long way off because it's a lot bigger than that and somewhere hopefully on the screen as well but that is not what we're about stop being distracted for goodness sake so now what we're going to get is we're going to do the roof and then we're going to do the walls because the roof will then tell me how the walls have got to look so i'm going to do the roof edging with cobble and we're going to come out one like that and i'm not going to do too flashy a roof i don't think on this instance just going to do a relatively standard roof so let's just crack on with the roof and uh, maybe with a little bit of music here we go As I was finishing off that roof, I took a step back and I thought, oh, you, Wally, you've messed up again. I've had to lower the floor by one because that's the equivalent of raising the entire building by one because we need basically this level here, if I put that there, that needs to be the floor level, which means that we needed the height of these to be above here, but it wasn't, it was above the floor. So we've managed to not quite do it right. So I have basically lowered the entire floor everywhere and um, made it one lower which means I've just had to do quite a lot of digging but that's all right that doesn't matter so we are going to just create a floor outside the house basically this is going to be a deck that spans all the way around the house like this and um, once we've done that we'll get a feel for where the floor of the house is going to be and we can put the floor in um, so it doesn't matter the fact that we dug all of that out because a lot of it we were going to have to dig out anyway for the floor so actually what's happened have I done I'm gone and done and wrong and there we go. So this is going to come to the 
side of the house like that. This is going to come to the side of the house like that. And we're just going to fill that in. And let's just get that bit done. So we've created this lovely, lovely big deck area there. And we're going to do something more with that in just a moment. But what we're going to do is, where's me? Let's get my bit there. I'm just going to get rid of my bed for the minute. And we're going to just top off these logs with one extra log. This isn't obviously nearly finished yet, this deck, but um, we do need to just give it a little bit of structure so we know where we're going with it, obviously. So that's going to go there, 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 all the way around. Oh, I missed. There we go, there, there, and there. Right, so that is where the deck is going to be. So now what we want to do is we want to fill in the floor. And this is going to be the floor of the house. And... Um, we're all going to do it just in one colour and it's going to be this terracotta. Now, I quite like red for floors. It gives, um, but most people think that it actually closes the house in. I disagree. As long as the house has got a lot of light, a nice red floor doesn't close the house in at all. I think it uh, potentially even opens it up just a little bit. If you had a very black floor, that could close the house, I agree. But this, I think, is all right. So we're going to come all the way along and fill in everything between these um, pillars, these oak pillars, uh, because that is where the inside of the house is going to be. And then once I've done that, I'll be right back. We've got a complete floor in there and you can see we've got some little inserts at the end of this one and at the end of this one, which is where the doors are going to go. I did extend this previously. This was the last bit just here of that platform. I've extended it out just another five because again, five more will bring us to exactly that row and it allows me to bring this back door here into this area which I actually think I prefer and we're going to keep that bit open just like that because I think it just looks ever so slightly um, not not regular just slightly irregular and I like the idea of these things being just a little bit irregular and what we're going to do now is we're going to put some feet on these um, on these planks here because this is going to cause to, uh, the house to have just a little bit more depth and texture and you know it's all about the depth and texture when you're building a rustic house rustic houses need a lot of texture and we're going to see that there and then here I'm going to leave it for now we are going to do something with it but I'm not entirely sure I know what yet so we're just going to leave it for now so what we're now going to do is I need to get my different uh, textures of stone etc and we're going to start to build out these walls so starting with the first row we're going to put in um, mainly stone brick but every now and again we're going to stick in a, um, a different texture whether it is I need that in there as well hang on let's get that like that um, something like that so you can see what we've done it's mainly stone brick but we have put different textures in on a couple of levels so there we're going to stick that like that and then we're going to get stone brick one and two then smooth stone then stone brick uh, then a bit of cobble then stone brick so you see what I'm doing there I'm just intermittently making it stone brick or another type of stone and that allows us to get just again a little bit more of a, a comfortable feel on this wall because the walls really really do need um, no, that's too much cobble on that side let's make that stone and um, the walls would need a little bit of texture because otherwise they just look way way too blocky so let's get my stone there 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 and there and we're going to stick uh, stone there and a bit of cobble like that and then we'll have cobble there stone bricks there and there and then there and a bit of stone like that I quite like how that looks so let's come around this side we'll get stone in the middle bricks there and there it's two bricks there and cobble and then here we're going to go cobble at this end I think then we'll have what should we have here? Let's have no st stone brick, stone brick, stone brick. Let's have smooth stone there and then another bit of cobble like that because that's actually quite a big wall. Now I've got some ideas as to what I would like to do around here because there's something I want to put in this area and I'm just kind of deciding how we're going to do it because it's um it's a limited space. That we've got here but I don't and I don't want to waste the space but you know what let's just crack on with it I'm going to get 
some obsidian and it's going to go right in the middle of this area here. It's going to go one, two, three, then we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, and three, and then we're going to come up to and three. So that is slightly larger than the smallest obsidian portal you can do, but it is big enough. And we're just going to leave that like that. I then don't need that obsidian anymore. And we can bring back, what should we bring back? That wood there. So let's get that like that. But what I want to do is I want to be able to get to this portal um, directly from the house. So I'm going to take that block out and I'm going to put terracotta block in there and that's going to be another door so we're well versed with doors in this build which is great because that's what we're looking for so let's just continue with the strategy for this here there there and a little bit of smooth stone there so we've got the first row of the house so now here we can start to think about windows and windows I like quite a lot of light in my rustic builds because uh, they really need light. So I'm going to stick, um, I think at this end, I'm going to stick a four wide window. Here, I'm going to stick a four or five wide window like that. They're only going to be one high, but they're going to be quite nicely um, wide. One there and one there. I'm going to stick a three wide window there. No, I'm just going to make it a four wide window there. I'm not going to put any window on that. And I'm not going to put any window on that, but I am going to put a window there and there. And then we're going to again get different types of block to just fill up the outside of this house wall. Um, so let's get a block there. Let's put a little bit of cobble in there. And it's brick, 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 and smooth. And then we'll carry on like this, and I'll be back when I've finished. <laughs> So I'm now looking at what I'm going to do with this nether portal, so, and I'm thinking it's too close to the house for what it is I want to do. So I'm actually going to take it out and uh, move it across slightly more central here. I think it's going to look a lot better with what I've got planned for it. So we're going to come out there, one, two, three. That's going to be where we put the nether portal. Just need to replace those like that. So let's get more obsidian. We're going to go one, two, three one two because these are non-negotiable blocks we have no choice these have to be here the ones in the corners don't um, otherwise it won't work but if you look at it like that it looks really unnatural it looks a really weird shape we want to make it look a little bit better so using our natural blocks by natural blocks I mean cobblestone and stone we're going to try and make this look like it just erupted from the ground a little bit by um, encasing it in natural stone and um, we can do it relatively easy, I think. If we let's do that like that, that can come out with a bit of natural stone there. And this is really make it up as you go along time. It's just kind of making it look like it just popped up from the ground um, and didn't, uh, almost maybe didn't, wasn't meant to be there. Wasn't actually summoned. It just grew up overnight and it looks kind of cool, I guess. So let's get that. I think it's going to make that like that, I think. Um, and then also because you can overlap your portals with um, various bits and pieces. As long as you don't go inside the portal, you're not going to be causing yourself any problems. So I'm, I'm going to make the portal a slightly more interesting shape um, by using these blocks in this way. And then if I get a bit of that there, some cobblestone there, that can come up there like there like that cobblestone there there and there so have cobblestone there and there we'll have a bit of upside down that there uh, that there like that that there like that cobblestone you see we're kind of making it up as we go along i'm going to put a cobblestone step just there and another cobblestone step upside down like that I'm not going to do anything with that I don't think you know what yes I am I'm going to put a slab there a slab there and a slab there one there if I then put a one of those there like that 
cobblestone up, I think, no, the right way around, that way there, and there. How does that look? That looks quite interesting. Yeah, we like that. That there like that. Then a cobblestone step coming out there. Cobblestone slab there. And then that like that. And it sort of... It sort of looks like it has come out of the ground without being asked, and it's just grown uh, on your porch. Because when you wake up in the morning, the last thing you want to see is an ever portal sat on your porch. But I actually think I quite like the way that looks. That looks pretty cool. I might. Do I want to do that there? That's my question. No, I don't. I want to leave it like that. But I'm going to put that like that, and that like that, and that like that. There we go. I like that. That looks pretty, pretty great. I'm gonna that there and I think that will do it I'm not going to mess around with it much more than that so we've now got another portal sat on our back porch which is brilliant and now what we're going to do is we're just going to start doing a bit more detailing now the first detail I want to do is on this wall here because this wall is way 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 too open and I want to make it so as it's somewhere we can just sit and enjoy the view so we're going to get four seats we're then going to get item frame Actually, no, we're not. We're going to get. I'm going to use a trap door there and there. So we've now got a bit of a seat there, which is quite nice. And what I am going to do underneath this seat, have I got any glowstone? Yes, I do. So I'm going to get some glowstone and I'm going to come underneath there and there. Too wide, which gives. Is that's, that is the centre, isn't it? Yes, it is. Too wide. And we're going to stick that there, that there, that there, that there, no, that there and that there. So we've got a bit of a lamp, which is nice. I quite like the way that looks. Look at it from a distance. Let's see how it looks. Yes, that is a winner. We're on to a winner. Brilliant. I'm then also going to be putting some more lamps around these edges. So we're going to put a lamp on this edge there. We're going to trim it in exactly the same way. Those of you that have watched my Avamancia series will know that I do like doing lamps encased in this way. I just think they look really, really nice. Um, and we're going to do it on each corner up here as well. So let's put that like that. That like that. There. That goes there like that. That's great. And then one underneath. So we've got two nice lamps coming off the back door side. Then on the front door side, we also want to do the same, don't we? Otherwise, it won't look right. We've got to be consistent. Consistency is the key with any design, really, in my opinion. So let's come back there and that there. Block that off there and there. And then we just have to come around. Stick one on like that and come the other side. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So coming up, it's going to go there. That can go like that. And then down, that can go like that. So we've got a nice lamp there and a nice lamp there. Now on these overhangs here, I'm going to try something different. Now this may not work. So we're going to try hanging that see that's what i was worried about it's going to look like it's hanging free but you know what i'm going to go with it anyway i'm going to go with it anyway because we're going to stick that on there like that and then we're going to again surround these i really want to get in there so that goes in like that happy i'll replace that bit in a minute and then we're just going to come along with hmm, where do we want to put this actually i'm going to do this slightly differently I'm going to put that there and there instead. And I'm going to wonder if that would be a better way of doing it on the other one as well. Let's have a look. So that there and there. So that makes for a nice lamp at that end. Because I'm just a smidgely bit concerned about the way that sticks out. If I was to put that like that, does that make it look daft? Actually, no, it doesn't. That looks okay. I'm happy. That looks okay. So now we just need to replace that bit like that. And I think... We're starting to get some nice detail. So now all we need to do is to start to create additional detail around here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get, again, some wood. Uh, what do I want to get rid of? I want to get rid of, oh no, what do I want to get rid of? I can get rid of that, there we go. Um, I'm going to put a bit of wood there. 
and then I'm going to get some greenery there and there. So just to break up that corner a little bit because I'm was a little worried that that was just a bit too regular. And then what we can do is we can put these um, in a few different places. So there, there and there, that looks quite nice. Um, we can break it up here because I was worried about what I was going to do there, wasn't I? So let's go there and there. Actually, no, I'm going to do it this side and put there and there. And then on here, I'm going to get a cobblestone stair and put it like that because I think that's actually ever so slightly better. I prefer it. Um, on this side here, we're going to put just outside the window, I'm going to put one there. And let's get one on this side of the window as well. That gives regularity outside that back door. Um, and we'll put one here, like that. That looks all right, happy with that. We'll stick two at either end of the front door, because the front door needs decorating. So no, it's got to be the right way around though. There and there. Then we'll get one, two there, one, two there. And that will do for the greenery, at least that part of the greenery. So now what we need to do is detail up the outside a little bit more. And there's a few ways in which we can do this. And I'm, I don't, by detailing, I don't mean putting in loads of furniture and stuff like that. I simply mean just making it look a little bit more attractive. And I'm going to try and achieve this by putting some things in pots. So, for example, I'm going to put cactus in a pot. I'm going to put some of these poppies in a pot. I'm going to put some blue stuff in a pot. I can always get the other stuff back. So I need to decide where we're going to put the pot. So I'm going to put one pot there. I'm going to put one pot there. Let's put um, a pot there. A pot either side underneath those windows. A pot there, even though it's a little bit hidden. And a pot there. So then we can put a poppy in that one. I'm going to put a pot there too, I think. A blue thing in that one, a blue orchid. I quite like the orchids, the orchids are quite nice. I'm going to put an orchid in there. I'm going to make this a cactus just for a little bit of variation. Make that a cactus as well. And then either side of this we're going to make that a poppy there and there. So it's very poppy like at the front which is great. And we've got some cactus on the side, blue orchid and various greenery as well so that's looking really really good so what i want to do now is perhaps build up a little bit more on the inside and um and see how we can create i don't know maybe some more lighting maybe uh some decent storage living area etc so i'll be back when i've done that so let's venture in and see what we've got inside and when we'll worry about the outside in just a minute so as we open the front door let me close the front door. We've got nicely decorated, plenty of storage, few pictures. Again, a little bit of banners either side of the door so you could draw them across the door if you wanted to. We'll go upstairs first because we have now got a very nice looking bedroom. We've got our armor, we've got all our weapons, etc. stored. We've got some nice lighting that is just a suspended lighting system. Pictures and again, plenty of storage, plus also some little secreted storage. You can open them because they are underneath stairs and then if we go back downstairs i like the way that we've trimmed these stairs off so we've got a little bit of light halfway up the rest of it is wood but we put trap doors on the tops to break up so as it doesn't look quite so harsh we've got more storage underneath here again it's under step so it does open this is an infinite water source a two by two infinite water source we put a bucket of water in each corner opposite corners and it gives you infinity to use with the potion stand i'll come back to this in a minute we've got crafting and storage we've got again more storage we've got the three um what I, I call it a kitchen or a furnace area with an anvil on top now it's a functional anvil but it actually looks like a chimney because the chimney goes up through the roof so it kind of looks a little bit like a chimney with a little bit of storage then again either side of the door plenty of storage and a fully functional enchantment table then over here inside here we open that up that takes us down to a mine. I've not actually done the mine, but that demonstrates that could take you down to a mine. It would be completely um, safe. Nothing can come back up at you. And that would give it, or maybe you could have a, a basement or an underground level that would also look really kind of cool. I quite like it. So this downstairs area here has got, again, more suspended lighting and looks up at the mezzanine upstairs. So what we now need to do 
is finish off the outside and then we've got one finished house and there are a gazillion things we could do to finish off this outside so i'm going to come back when i've done it because i need to have a bit of a think and then we've got one finished system here look we've got going from left round to right so we've got the front area which is just hang on let's get rid of that i don't like you let's get rid of you there we go um so we've got the front area which is a nice open space coming down some steps into the front garden we've surrounded it all with some um roses there and this comes around under a nice tree with a little seating area with some tables walking around this garden we've got lighting all the way around to keep it nice and light we've got roses still trimmed around there tulips some lilacs another tree some more lighting coming all the way around to the primary path which goes up to the back door and um, obviously there's the way that goes all the way around the house but we're more interested in this bit here because what we've got here is a nice farm which is going to grow some wheat on that side and some carrots on this side and we can follow around the path so we can reach every single part so as we can um, be able to harvest it properly and then round here we've got look this is some tomatoes it's not it's actually roses but if you look at it from a distance it looks like tomato plants so we've done some tomatoes there as well we've got sugar cane and we can walk on this as well that's absolutely fine we can walk through the sugar cane bringing us back to the front door i'm really quite pleased with the way it looks so what we're going to do now is we are going to light this fella up bang and we have got one nether portal all ready and waiting and i think we have done an all right job of that and there you have one finished house it is completely made up as i went along actually i'm really quite pleased with the way it came out it looks pretty good use some fairly basic building techniques but bringing them all together was quite worth it i think we've got some nice stuff the fact they've got a never portal on the front porch is a little bit scary for people that might live here but altogether not a bad job if you hello sheep did you like my house no obviously not if you did enjoy this better than the sheep did please do remember to slap that like button it'd be great to see them likes racking up on this one and i'll know to do more stuff like this and if you haven't done it already please do remember to hit that sub button it would be great to see you in my sub club and i look forward to seeing you in another video you take it easy now bye